Stay calm, stay calm. Everything is going to be okay. I know I'm trying you... to, but I can't. The walls, bars, I gotta, okay, just, I gotta just, get out of here. Okay, breathe. Just I breathe. Can't. You really need to breathe. Yes, I you can. can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do anything, Greenlee. You can do anything. You are a survivor, okay? Just hold on. Uh, just hold on. Uh, hold on to me. I'm just a little stressed out. This party's kind of a big deal. And, um... And so are custody battles. I've been there. And they get mean, and they get nasty, and I hated putting Emma through that, and I was really hoping AJ wouldn't have to go through that either. We've gotten close, and he's a sweet little boy, and I just think a battle like this could really damage... Did I not make myself clear? I don't need your advice about my child. I'm just speaking from experience. Yeah, well, you've had a lot of that, haven't you? Why are you like this? I'm just trying to find peace within my home and within my family. Peace for y your big, important party? Yeah. Is that so much to ask? You don't have the right to ask me for anything. JR is upset. When he gets upset, he loses control, and that would be bad for everyone. And by everyone, you mean you? I mean all of us. Scott and I are trying to start our lives together. We don't need you doing this to JR, antagonizing him. He's already on edge. Well, if he is, I'm sure you've been consoling him. I've shown genuine concern. I've tried to make the situation better. What is wrong with you? I just want to take AJ and get out Do of Do you here. realize what you are doing by taking AJ? What that does to JR? If you get full custody, he will never see his son again. Come on. You could get married again. You could have more children. JR might not be able to do that because of the chemo. Don't you dare talk about JR's cancer. I was by his side day and night. You just swooped in and seduced him. Really? Because from what I remember, I helped him beat the cancer. Remember? I saved his life. You slept with a married man. You tore apart a family. You cheated on your husband. So did you. I am done trying to reason with you. I am just telling you, if you go after JR, you are going to hurt everybody, especially your son. Clearly, you don't care. So I am getting back to getting my party together. <laughs> Do you even realize how ridiculous you are? T trying to pass yourself off as some socialite? No one is buying it, Annie. Everyone's laughing at you. You're just jealous. Of what? Uh, none of it's genuine. You have no class. <laughs> and you do? At least I have a little shame. You teeter around in your high heels, flaunting your cleavage, reminding everyone that your little Mrs. fill-in-the-blank Chandler. You're just a bad cliché. You're a pathetic wannabe. Get out of my house. Your house? Y you, mean, you mean the house that you slept your way into? This whole act didn't work when you were married to Adam, and it's not going to work now. Everyone knows that you're nothing but a gold-digging slut. And you are invisible. You stand next to me and poof, you disappear. And it kills you, Why doesn't it? Why are you two fighting? It's okay, sweetie. We were just, we were just having a disagreement. I'm, I'm really sorry that you saw that. So am I. Come on, let's go, okay? Now you know why I want him out of this house. Sorry I took so long. Did you remember the root beer? I didn't get a chance to get it. Because I decided to hang around the station because I wanted to put Greeley in her cell. Thought it would be better than some stranger, you know? Oh, well, that was nice of you. Well, I am a nice guy. Plus, I'm not so sure she killed her husband. Oh, don't repeat that in front of the mayor or the DA. I Hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. What do we got? Let's see. What's this? Potato salad, grilled wait, chicken. Wait, 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 wait. Apple pie? <laughs> Where did you buy all this stuff? I made it. Oh. Hey, I don't look like the type. Hey, you said it, not me. It is possible to be a career woman and to be able to throw down in the kitchen. And by the way, I'm a kick-ass cook. Well, you kick ass in a lot of things. Do you know where Marissa is? She should have been back here with AJ by now. Annie. I'm busy. Do you know where my son is? Uh, Marissa took him to Wildwind. She said she left you a message in your cell. She is out of control, taking my son whenever she wants to. She says that I'm not a, a, not a fit parent. You know, she even tried to hire a Chandler family attorney out from under me. Please calm down. She wants war. She's got war. 
I tried to tell her. Tell her what? Uh, to be reasonable, to not cause unnecessary tension, and I, I may be sort of suggested that dragging AJ through a custody battle would be a really, really bad oh, idea. Damn it, Annie. What, you think I want to get in the middle of this? I've been trying to focus on my own stuff all day. Something, something positive, okay? Something that I really care about. Instead, I wasted my entire day dealing with you and Marissa nonsense. Oh, and she's a real bitch, by the way. Wait. And, um, we, we argued, and it wasn't pretty. AJ didn't hear you guys arguing. Oh, come on, Annie. You want me to stay out of your life? You stay the hell out of mine. So, who tried to try to cook? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. You taught yourself, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. I learned from my mom. I mean, I started out stirring batter and cracking eggs, and eventually I could make a mean apple pie. Mm. Impressive. How's the eye? It's better now that I can close. Yeah. I noticed. It looks better. So you noticed I couldn't keep my eyes off of you? Well, would you look at that? There's still genuine romance in this world. <laughs> Close your eyes, okay? If I do, it'll start again. You need to go somewhere else in your mind, somewhere that makes you feel relaxed. <sighs> All I see are the walls closing in. Okay, all right, you gotta work with me. Can you do that? Yeah? Okay, good. Now, it's October. Okay, imagine it's October. It's perfect, perfect weather outside, and you and I are riding in an open-top Jeep down a long road to the beach. The wind is blowing in your hair. You're wearing a green sundress. Keep God. Yes. We kick off our shoes. And we go running through the sand towards the water. And then all of a sudden you turn off and you just go running all over the sand dunes like crazy everywhere. I felt so free. Yeah, it was just you and me. You and me, as far as the eye could see, it was just you and me on the beach. And then we turn to leave, it's time to go. And on our way back to the car, you break away and you go running into the ocean. I thought the water would be freezing, but it was so warm. Yeah. It's just you and the waves. You were in there laughing, I could hear you laughing, you were so happy. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember. Thanks to JR and Marissa, I got absolutely nothing done today. I can cancel the trip to Europe. I can stay and help. That's sweet. But I'm okay. I just feel better talking to you and knowing that you're not mad. No, I'm not mad. Okay. Well, then go already, because the faster you go, the faster you'll come back to me. You sure? I'm sure you love me. That's all I need. Okay. Okay. I have to get AJ out of that house, now. Until it's official, he's always welcome here. Thank you. And thank you for recommending Brent Majors. He will definitely make sure that Jared doesn't take AJ. Especially since he's going to be handling an official practicing attorney. Official? Oh my god. Today's the day. The bar results. Congratulations. <laughs> I passed too. Ah! You did. You're the reason I passed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I'm going to go tell my son that his mom's a lawyer. I want to see my son. When Majors is done with you, you'll be lucky if you see AJ at all. Yeah. I should have known. You're the one that told Marissa about him. Well, too bad he's working for me now. She'll have to find another lawyer. Good luck finding one who's willing to cross the Chandlers. 
That won't be too hard. That's what you think. No, that's what I know. I'm going to handle her case. You? <laughs> we'll destroy you. Well, good luck with that. You took my company? I'm going to make sure Marissa takes your son. Have a nice day. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Mrs. Scott Chandler. Hey! Where were you just now? At our party. <laughs> I was imagining the moment when the past will finally be erased. Yeah? Yeah. Well, as soon as I get back, it's all going to happen. Uh, we were just having a picnic. It's not what it looks like. We really were just I'm here. Sorry. Relax. Oh, no, it's okay. Angie told me that you two were getting closer. Oh, no, no. Angie's wrong. I, I should go talk to her. Clear you're things leaving? Out. No, 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 no. Don't go. You're having such a beautiful picnic. Would you please, please not mention this to anyone? But okay. Yeah, my, my lips are sealed. Um... Please, enjoy. Enjoy. You know what? You're gonna make people a lot more suspicious if you keep freaking out like that. Do you have to question everything that I do? Yes, when you act crazy like that. Well, you know what? We're not together. And that's what I was trying to explain to her, that we are not involved. Are we involved now? Are you okay? I am now. Thanks to you. 